Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another video for you. I've got the trailer, actually it's rather a teaser trailer uh, reaction video and a breakdown. So I've already seen this teaser, so my reaction is going to be kind of a second hand, but more so I want to go through this kind of shot by shot with you guys and kind of explore my thoughts on this trailer so that we can just think about and talk about this together. And let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the trailer, what you think about my thoughts. I'm going to get a little speculative with this, but I'm also going to give you just some opinions uh, and some facts about it. So let's get going. I'm going to cut right over. Let's go ahead and change it over. All right, we're ready. So let's go ahead and start this trailer. Ready? Let's begin. Leave it back, son. I choose you. I choose you. Say my name so my powers will become yours. Woo! Yes! Purchase some of your finest gear, please. <laughs> oh, my gosh! Ooh, Sam, a lair. Yes, if you have a location like on a cliff, like a castle esque type thing, <laughs> overlooking some water, splashing on rocks and stuff, then we will take that. Experience it in IMAX. See, that's awesome. Okay, so I wanted to just go through this really quick with you guys. Um, I'm gonna go back, it's short enough, it's only like 50 seconds that I'm gonna go back shot for shot and kind of just pause and give my thoughts. So let's go back to the beginning um, right here. I'm gonna play it, then pause it, play it, then pause it. So just be ready for that. So right here, he's coming off what looks like the, the train or the bus or the subway that he was on um, when he when Jaimon Hansu's Shazam calls to him, the wizard. So let's go ahead. There it is. I love that because you'll you'll notice that a lot of the lines in this teaser are actually call outs to like childhood um, like memorabilia. And it's also just the whole the whole concept of Shazam is that the DC was like, what would it be like if we had a superhero that was exactly in the same position as our readers, where their imagination is just being blown by all the superhero ideas? It's like what, if, what about this power? What if I? What if there was a guy that was like Superman, but he had electric powers or he could fly? And what if I was that guy, I would be doing this or I would use it for this or whatever. It's kind of that, um, that creative kickstart that people get when they first get into comics or superheroes as a kid. Um, a lot of us did and we would see Superman or Batman or Spider-Man or, you know, etc. And Shazam being the, a character in the comic book world that is actually a kid that geeks out about superheroes and then he gets superhero powers and then he gets to he gets to be as powerful on par with superman which is absolutely insane so it's very nostalgic but you hear lines like i choose you <laughs> it's like you might think that's like a super cliche but in my head that's going back to pikachu i choose you and he throws the pokeball and <laughs> you know it's like it's really reminiscent of childhood, but that's kind of the point here. So let's just keep rolling. That's just some fun thoughts. Say my name so my powers will become yours. Look at how cool that is. I'm going to go back here and just kind of, I'm going to take it like little bit by little bit. Look at this. So coming off of the rooftop, this is the cool, one of the coolest moments in the trailer uh, or the teaser. It's so just like, it's dramatic. It's not like crazy effects, just him kind of just running a little bit and then, you know, bombing off the, off the rooftop. But that's what everyone would want to do if you had flight. That's what I would definitely want to do. Um, and then just watch him just do Zachary Levi and then just beams right out there. It's so sick. Let's just watch that again. Say my name so my powers will become yours. Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> it's so cool. I'm loving this. I cannot wait for this movie. Um, but yeah, let's just keep rolling. Also, um, keep in mind that he's supposed to be kind of like Superman, highly inspired by Superman. The whole feel is supposed to be like Superman meets big, like Man of Steel meets big, uh, meets, you know, um, uh, I don't know, just some like, 
he's a he's just a kid, you know. So it's like highly nostalgic for for all the viewers because that's kind of like you. You are Shazam, and that's one of the fun things about this. Uh, but I'm gonna keep moving a little bit along. Pause. <laughs> so this part is really cool. First of all, um, Mark Strong is one of my favorite actors. Right here, here we go. This is an insane shot of him. He looks so sick. I love Mark Strong. I just recently did a fan casting video putting him as Professor X because I really like him there. But I've also, for a very long time on Instagram, not on my YouTube channel, but on Instagram, I've been talking about Mark Strong playing Mr. Freeze because if you guys are fans of, you know, Batman, you go all the way back to like, uh, you know, early comics, but also specifically in the 90s, there was an animated TV series, the greatest one, the, the Batman animated TV series. Um, that one, Mr. Freeze was great in that show. I mean, they, Adam West did it, you know, there was Arnold Schwarzenegger, there was a couple other uh, renditions and tons of uh, other DC animated ones, but all of the great versions of Mr. Freeze are reflective of this 90s version. It was the best one, the voice that, I forget who it was that did the voice for that, but Mark Strong looks spot on like him. And so like, I would, I would personally love it if, you know, once he's done as Dr. Savannah, if he would, you know, maybe go back and forth into a couple other roles, maybe go into Marvel for a while. And then if, you know, later down the road, go back to DC as Mr. Freeze, that'd be sweet. But gosh, he looks so good here. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play this again. Cause just look at these effects, man. And this is just a teaser trailer but it looks so good so did you see that you know obviously he's in a fight with shazam um with billy bats and shazam you see him he looks just he just looks just like uh man of steel here like a very very sweet very powerful look at that all that lightning and everything it looks so good it looks so cool i really like how even though it's you know it's a dc film you would expect a darker tone, but with Walter Hamada taking over, and then you've got you know Aquaman bringing a whole new breathing life into the DC uh, e e DC EU. Um, Shazam here! Look at all the color, like look at how vibrant the blues are. Look at how vibrant the red and green is, and then the yellow, the duck on the on the shelf. I really love how bright this movie is, even though it has some dark contrasts. So like outside above above shazam over like in this direction on top and down below lots of good contrast especially in these night scene fights um but i love how bright the colors are it's really bringing to life the dceu and i think that that's something that it desperately needed it's like you you should be able to be dark in maybe like like story story darkness you know like have some have some you know of course there's need for you know consequence and weight and just having good acting and and visual presence and a good script uh it's all got to come together right but if it fails visually you're gonna have a bad time that was one of that was one of the only complaints that people had once they saw titans so before they see they see the show titans people are always complaining like oh you know anna diop and this and that and it's like Nit, there's a lot of nitpicking going on and honestly I was one of them at first with especially with like Anna Diop She doesn't look like Starfire at all, but in the show She does such a good performance that and then there's so much more to the show than what was in the trailers So even my wife who was super skeptical about uh, Anna Diop Starfire ended up coming back around full circle now. She's like I actually like her in the role which before she was just like, can you please just get someone? Me and me and my wife are extremely aesthetic. We like to see visual comic book accuracy, um, and we want them to look very, very close to the original content or the source material. And um, so that was a huge like challenge for us to overcome. But even that we overcame. Now, visual to wrap to go full circle. I like to rabbit trail. You guys already know this, but with the uh, the visual tone. Titans, one of the major complaints was that they had this really like weird bluey tint throughout the entire like first couple episodes and then a few times throughout the rest of the show. And it was actually just really, really dark. Like someone had turned the brightness down in, in post-production or something or in the editing room. They just turned the brightness down to 25%, which was 
frustrating at times, especially in the darker scenes, which there are a good amount of. But here, there's brightness even in the darkness, which is really cool. I really like this. So I'm going to keep going. That's enough about that. So serious. <laughs> and again, that's them harping on how serious all the DC movies have been and how they don't need to be. This is one thing that I've been really frustrated about is like DC exclusive fans. Like people are like, if you ask them, you know, hey, d did you see Spider-Man? They're like, I'm more of a DC guy. It's like, I that's not what I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking you, did you see Spider-Man? It's like that. I didn't ask you which one you liked better, Marvel or DC. Um, but for for in this case, going back to the so serious, they're they're obviously harping on the fact that people treat DC like this has to be the serious one. There's no jokes because that's how the old leadership at DC was running the ship with Man of Steel, with Batman versus Superman, and then leading into Justice League under the reign of Zack Snyder. But then, you know, when the transition happened, they said, you know what, just feel free to change it up. You know, we get it. It's not it's not working. Let's just try something new. And people started to appreciate that, you know, so it's starting to um, have appropriate seriousness. And what I mean by that is if you have a Batman film that is purely a Batman film, no, it's not a crossover with The Flash. It's not a crossover with Aquaman. You're not crossing over with Shazam. It's just Batman. Then, yeah, you can feel free to have zero jokes unless it's with the Joker or the Riddler. You know what I mean? Like you can feel free to have a, a totally hard, you know, film. Cause obviously that works with the dark Knight. dark Knight rises, Batman begins. But if you, if you want to do something like Shazam, or if you want to do something like plastic man, you have to have comedy. You have to have laughs. There has to be fun. And if there isn't, you're not being true to the source material. To make it dark just for the sake of being dark doesn't fit the context. And so that's why they're they're making these jokes is because it's like, this is a DC film. Yes, that doesn't mean it has to be dark or, or so serious. Why so serious? You know, like the Joker, Heath Ledger. So let's just take a look at them showing us where they're going with the seriousness of this film. I'd like to purchase some of your finest beer. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Zachary Levi kills it, man. He is so funny. And also, just look at... I want you to look at this face again. Watch, look at this. <laughs> that one right there. He's all... <laughs> that face is, is awesome. He's just like... Because he's a minor, right? He's a minor and he's trying to get alcohol. And so when we see here... Look right here on the, on the left. We check IDs. They're they're pointing out the fact that he's an underage, you know, he's a minor and he's trying to like sneak his way and buy alcohol and he's hoping that she doesn't check IDs. I'm guessing that the trailer's misleading, say, saying that he gets the beer. Uh, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. We know from the previous trailer, the original trailer, he does walk out with the beer or some, you know, some sort of uh, soda or whatever. But uh, I'll have to go back and double check which one it was. I'm pretty sure it was the beer though. But with this one... Um, I'll be willing to bet that maybe in this movie they're like, yeah, no. Like she she ends up saying, you know, we check IDs. You don't have an ID. Sorry, get out of here. And then he ends up walking away. Um. <laughs> Which is so funny. I like that. I really enjoy that. She could have been pointing him to the beer. Then he comes back and then she checks his ID and he, it doesn't work out. Maybe then when they get robbed, uh, he gets to save the day and then she just gives him the beer. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be great or he walks out with the beer maybe he stole the beer um whatever but this is pretty cool look at him this is what i'm talking about how awesome it is he's just enjoying exploring his powers look he's got that jbl speaker right there on the floor he's just like he's pumped he's probably trying to make some change here uh he might have like a hat or something on the floor people are recording him doing all this crazy um He's probably doing something like, you know, like a Chris Angel, like magic in the in the streets or something like that while he's like learning his abilities. Um, I, I'm so pumped for this because that's the kind of stuff that any normal person would be doing if they woke up one day with superpowers. They would just be going nuts with it, probably showing off quite a bit. And that's Shazam. That's the that's the embodiment of Shazam. It's this playful character who just who, who comes into these magical abilities and loves it. You know, some of these superheroes, they're like, it's my burden, you know, and I'm like, dude, I would be freaking loving 
being, you know, Iron Man. Or, like, obviously Iron Man enjoys it, but you get someone like Captain America where it's like, it's my duty, it's my responsibility. You get Spider-Man where it's like, it's actually kind of heavy, where he's like, it's my responsibility. And with Shazam, he's like, dude, I got superpowers. This is so freaking cool. And then he's over here showing his buddy. And flying around and everything. Showing off his superpowers and strength and everything. I love it. I can't wait. Let's keep going. Whoa, did you see that? Look at this. So this is Mark Strong, obviously, as Dr. Savannah and... Um, and uh, Zachary Levi, I almost said Henry Cavill, because it's so reminiscent of Man of Steel right here. And I freaking love Man of Steel. Man of Steel was one of my favorites. Um, yes, I know it wasn't like classic Superman. It, I mean, it was it was darker, it was a little more brutal. Um, it didn't kind of shine hope as much as it would, you know, some of the other ones. Like it wasn't like the the bright and shining hero. Um, it was more like gritty and rough, which I did like. I liked that. Um, but at the same time, this is Man of Steel with, with humor, with comedy, and with a much more playful tone that I think a lot of us nerds and geeks that like this kind of thing, um, we get to enjoy and appreciate because that's us. That's us as kids. It's like reliving our childhood. So let's just uh, – I want to show you guys this little like clip of him punching him. It is, it's basically Ma Zod and Superman, Man of Steel, ripping through the city in their final fight. You see that? Look at this. He's so going through that building. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, I, I can't wait to see all that, all the chaos. And I would be willing to bet that DC was was lying and that there is, you know, like a, a Man of Steel trail. Uh, I'm sorry, Man of Steel cameo or Batman or somebody is going to reach out to. I would be willing to bet it was um, Superman though, because it's his direct. That's his direct um, inspiration. That's his hero. That's the guy he likes the most. So uh, let me continue. Shazam. Hilaire. Yes. If you have a location like on a cliff, like a castle-esque type thing, <laughs> some overlooking some water, splashing on rocks and stuff, then we will take that. Experience it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the lair thing. That's so cool. Every superhero has to have their own lair. Obviously, he's living with his foster parents. That's not much of a lair. It's kind of Peter Parker-esque where you have to dodge and, and you don't let your parents know what's going on. Or Aunt May or blah, blah, blah. But that's so, like, that's so clever. He, he's like, I'm an adult now. Let's go to, like, a real estate office. And then he brings his, his essentially, his foster brother. Um, what's his name? Freddy. And he, like, uh, they're just like, like, do you have a, you know, like, something, like a lair? Uh, uh, looking overlooking the, you know, they have no idea about real estate or pricing or any of that stuff. I mean, they're in the middle of a big city, so that's got to be pretty far. But that's so cool. I'm really, I'm really pumped for this. April fifth. I cannot, cannot come soon enough. I'm so excited to see this movie. There's something really special about this movie. I have not obviously seen the film yet. No one has. But if the film is as good as any. Of the mar any of the marketing for this film, then this could very easily, instantly become my new favorite DC film, possibly my new favorite superhero film of all time. I'm really, really pumped. Nostalgia is what I'm all about, and so like I, I love talking about these things with you guys here on the channel, with all my friends in person, uh, you know, like with my wife all day long, <laughs> and uh, I think that this is going to be a really good movie. So let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this teaser trailer. Um, are you guys as hyped as I am? Are you guys excited as I am? Do you guys love the costume? I mean, look at this suit. Look at how freaking legit that is. There were some people online that were like, the suit looks so stupid, it looks ridiculous. Uh, it looks amazing. It looks fantastic. It's comic book accurate. It's just perfection. I, I have zero complaints and I do not understand the complaints that have been made. It literally makes no sense to me. I think someone said that makes him look puffy. I was like, maybe before, like before editing or whatever. Like, you think any of the costumes on Marvel or DC's side aren't augmented or, you know, edited or there's not post-production on them to like gloss them up or whatever. Like, this looks phenomenal. Anyway. Good on you, Zachary Levi. 
Uh, good on you, Warner Brothers, for going co with the comedy route, with the humor, uh, childlike wonder, childlike innocence. I think it's going to be great. I'm really excited, and I'm fully pumped. This teaser trailer did its job. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to give this video a like. Um, share it with some friends and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you can be alerted right away when I go live next time and so that when I premiere videos, um, you guys can be alerted and you can get notified with the countdowns and everything. I'm going to be doing a lot of fan castings. I'm going to be doing a massive event this Friday, so be looking for that. That's the Fan Casting Summit where I gather 10 of the finest fan casters that I could find on Instagram and I bring them together right here on YouTube so that we can do a great massive scale fan casting for the MCU X-Men, um, which is Marvel, not DC. It's gonna be awesome and you guys should check that out this Friday, which will be the uh, 25th of January, 2019. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.